This paper is called Philosophical Discourse and Ascetic Practice, and it focuses on the multiple readings that Foucault offers of Descartes' meditations during the old span of his intellectual career. Um, I first got interested uh, in this topic when I was reading Pierre Hadot, and more specifically a paper in which Hadot criticizes Foucault for uh, not realizing that Descartes' meditations belong to the tradition of spiritual exercises. And I always found this criticism uh, a bit unfair. So in this paper, I try to show why it is unfair. And more specifically, I try to, um, on the one hand, reject the exclusive focus of the literature on the history of madness uh, and on the so-called Foucault Derrida debate, and instead focus um, on uh, Foucault's interpretations of Descartes um, in a series of unpublished manuscripts that he writes while in Tunis between 1966 and 1968, uh, as well as on the series of conceptual shifts that happened in Foucault's thoughts at the beginning of the 70s, um, which both kind of lead Foucault to elaborate a new approach to the meditations in terms of discursive events. The upshot of this analysis is that um, it helps us see why Foucault at the end of his life can develop an original reading of Descartes' philosophy, which turns out to be surprisingly close to his own uh, interest in ancient ascesis, in ancient techniques of the self. Moreover, um, this analysis also allows us to see um, the paradoxical nature of uh, Descartes' text. Um, the aim of Descartes' meditations, according to Foucault, or to the reading that I offer um, of Foucault, is paradoxical. It's paradoxical because Descartes aims to constitute, through ascesis, a subject to, in order to gain access to the truth, will no longer need ascetic exercises, but only rules of method uh, modeled on those characterizing the pursuit of scientific knowledge. Thus, we can see that what Descartes accomplishes through the meditations goes far beyond the mere exclusion of madness from the domain of reason, um, what Foucault argued in the issue of madness. Um, what Descartes accomplishes is, in a way, tricking his reader into thinking that they no longer need to work on and transform themselves in order to attain the truth. In short, I argue that Descartes in the meditations ultimately excludes from the domain of reason and of philosophical discourse what we could call the ascetic subject. Um, and my conclusion is that uh, what Foucault tries to do, what he tried to do uh, especially at the end of his life, but throughout his intellectual career, is precisely to reintroduce the ascetic subject into philosophical discourse. Um, a project that has, in a way, that must address Descartes' meditations in order to lay bare the ambiguity that lies at the art of his discovery of the cogito, and to construe philosophy once again as a task and an exercise that entails an indefinite risk, since the truth is not given to the subject by right, Foucault argues, it could very well remain unattained. And it's only by accepting this risk, I argue, that philosophy can be conceived and practiced once again as a truly creative and experimental endeavor.